A movie or uh, a TV show, and you like uh, a dress, a shirt, a chair, or uh, anything you're, you're, you're seeing. So we are building an app that allows you to instantly discover and buy that product. Uh, the way we do it is by connecting with content creators, uh, monetizing information they already have, and share it with, uh, share it with them. So I'm going to show you a short clip of how it works. You're watching the show, you, uh, you see something you like, you click that button, and you're gonna have a synchronized frame of that that is mirroring what, what's happening on the, on, on the show. You click the, the button, you click the tag, and you get your product. You are redirected to, uh, to the, the website that is for uh, the You are redirected to the website that is selling that, that product. So that's the product we're going to do the uh, metadata treatment of the video treatment of the system. Um, we are testing it internally now. Uh, we had some good feedback. We are making some uh, improvements. And hopefully next month we're going to start a beta test here in, uh, in the United States. So you mean the movie producers would give you the name of the designers? Yeah, that's the, it, that, the, easy way, the easiest way to get information is to uh, take the information that they already have. There are other ways that, that we use to, uh, to get information. Um, we are adding a crowdsourcing feature, so even if the product is not tagged, you can put your finger on, on the frame and request that product and someone else might, might add that, that product. Uh, but we want to, I mean, we started this company to uh, uh, try to solve maybe two problems, which are how to monetize video in, uh, in, in this world that, that becomes governed by the internet. So there's a classic way of uh, selling content, which is subscriptions or uh, you know you buy, you buy a ticket to go to the theater or you buy a DVD. Uh, now content replicates on the internet. So um, we're thinking about content as as a medium, not not as a product. So once you unlock the information that is inside the video, you can. Uh, detect information, detect demand, uh, uh, know what, what people want, uh, who are um, uh, the stars that are most um, influential, if the word is, is correct. So you get all sort of new data that um, like brands could not dream about. Yeah, but the, the designer will try to dress the stars of a movie to, to, be, to be on it, right? To be. Sorry? The designers of clothing will try to dress the stars of the movies to, to sell their products. Yeah, that's that's what we want to do. That's what we want to mm -hmm. encourage uh, brands to do because, uh, like today, product placement companies are, are doing this amount of deals. When you add a technology that allows you to identify things that are not identifiable, uh, you can leverage product placement opportunities, and that's another way of financing content. So like you give more freedom to producers if they can have more product placement deals and they become more powerful than uh, in the discussion with, with uh, distributors. So uh, even then, then the stars will lose their personality if they bought to wear no, something. No, stars um, do not decide what to, what to wear. They, they decide to take a, deal, a product placement deal or not, and they usually the, um, uh, the, the talent agent gets into the discussion. But uh, uh, if you accept to, to play uh, Spider-Man, you, you don't see say, no, I'm going to wear like Batman or like... I mean, that's, that's not... Um, the actor doesn't decide what, what he wants to, uh, to do. So, so if you, I'm watching I'm watching a program and I see this guy wearing a suit, and I want to buy that. Yeah. 
So my phone is synced with my TV, and I order it right there. Yes. It's, it's a what, from, what happens from there on? From there on, you uh, either you're gonna add the product to your favorite, or you're gonna just look at the information, huh. or you're gonna buy it. So what we try to do is try to maximize uh, the links to uh, e-commerce websites. So we integrate APIs uh, in our system, and uh, I think it's a way for us also to make. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work to synchronize all these uh, clothing and. It, it is, I mean, but like there are clever tricks that you can apply to, to get the, uh, the thing done in a, in a short period of time. So just to give you an example, like um, a 20 minute episode takes us like 60 minutes to be, uh, you know, to add information, right. basic metadata and products. So is your app live? No, not yet. Okay. I don't understand, but how do you get the information? I mean, there's a new episode, you need to know the pressure, who is it from, yeah. who makes it, how do you get that information? So, yeah, <coughs> you know, production company works, uh, has uh, multiple departments. So, you know, there's uh, a guy or a lady who's the head of the wardrobe department. So, like, everything is, is uh, Everything is has to be bought or made or, or rent. So um, the production company has more than we need. I mean, in terms of information. Okay. So what we're saying, uh, an easy way to to create that interactivity is to take the information you have and, and use it to, uh, to to display it for the, for the consumer. And then, of course, you can think about image recognition and all these things, but you cannot rely. Have you done that already? Have you talked to this uh, wardrobe production? We are in discussions, and we are in discussions with uh, um, the largest product business company. And how, what do they benefit from this? How, how do you pay them? Well, yeah, you know, the, the, the pitch was like, um, today you're doing, say, four product placement deals. Uh, we think that you're gonna make 40 and then 400 because everything that 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 is on the screen can be monetized. So if we are shooting something, I don't know, seen in this space, you could be interest, interested in the chair. I could be interested in the space. Where is that space? I love this work uh, sure. workspace. And then you can monetize everything. So you can you monetize can locations, you know, for tourism, hotels. <coughs> Anything you do would see can be uh, can be money. And so that what what is what what value we create to them is uh, their clients want to to measure. Like they pay uh, brands, pay product placement companies to do these deals, and you know they they want to have some some measurement. So that's a good that's a good uh, uh, tool to to measure these. Things. The other thing is that they cannot uh, uh, they can track, you know, and uh, see the effectiveness of what they're doing because product placement is a, is an art in itself. I mean, there are different ways. Uh, because the case that reminded I was reminded from it was like sometimes the companies don't pay for it for that. Yes. Like for example, clear example is Apple. How many series do you watch that they put something on top of the of the Apple so it's not seen that it's a MacBook? Because Apple did not pay them for this to appear. Well, this is like now it's like a very yeah. There so how how would that bill be placed in your case? Because at the end, the, if the company didn't pay the series to use that as product, yeah. So they will not pay you either. So like we we try to that not to get into the conversation between. Uh, uh, we're not going to be in every conversation. So, like when we go to the product placement companies, we tell them, uh, you have a budget to do the, uh, uh, product placement deal. And you're going to use also that budget to do PR, to do uh, some digital marketing, some, uh, some events, and or you name it. So, what could be interesting for you is to uh, get more interactions have more shares, have more sales, uh, show to your clients that uh, uh, 
because it's super hard to, to measure how effective is a, a product placement. Mm -hmm. Then what we tell them, we, go, we are going to try to maximize uh, the amount of metadata we, we, we get from, uh, from the video, whether it's a product placement deal or not. Like here's what we can do for the product placement deal. And it's a strategic partnership because you're going to be able in the future to multiply these, uh, uh, these deals. Because at one point it has to happen. Uh, there are 32 billion dollars that are being flushed into the toilet for commercials that nobody is watching. And at one point you have to get uh, these brands in the content and not uh, outside of it. Um, let, let, let's, let's say Gap wants to be in a movie, he can go see the producer and say, I want everybody on your movie to wear my Gap store. Yeah. Then that will take away from the, the, the beauty of the movie if the, the, the designer can buy the... You know, but believe me, I, I'm, I, I'm, uh, I'm the son of an art director and I worked in, in movies, so... Um, like, the, the guy who decides to um, make the... I mean, it's up to the producer and to the... Um, to the filmmaker and the relation between them. Right, so a company can actually buy the producer. Yeah, but they do that already. They do that okay. already. Yeah. Because yeah. Because yeah. That, like, that's how the, they make the movies. They get with companies to promote the products and yeah. they if, get money from that. If it's not a brand, it's a, it's a distributor who buys the... Uh, I mean... The oh, they do that already? I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. See, yeah. the Pinterest, you heard about Pinterest yeah. Yeah. putting viable pins yeah. now on their yeah. site. So, so now you can buy, watching on Pinterest, you can just buy directly from there. Yeah. So they're doing something similar over to your day. Your platform is more dynamic. There's more. Oh, yeah, we, we, we try to, to, uh, to create an ex what we are obsessed with is the experience. Like, two clicks or one shake and one click and I get my, my product and I can go back to it if I want. So yeah. uh, you you want to think, you know, I'm not like uh, um, uh, worried about monetization because if you have traction then everybody's going from brands so you can can make different deals like 10 years ago yeah. or something. So a lot of people are thinking about it. What about this company, Delivery Agent? Mm -hmm. What do they? Delivery Agent is the leader in e-commerce. So yeah. they, they sell through uh, TV, they sell a lot of merchandising uh, products also from uh, seen in... in uh, so would they be a competitor? Uh, there, there are a lot of complementarities. So you know, there's, if you look at the, the whole value chain, you cannot, like, I mean, it's very difficult to, to cover everything. And they, they have huge operations for e-commerce and, uh, you know, managing these, these transactions. And, and they, they have also um, products for, for the, the end users on TVs, but like, when you look at the whole art industry, like we're still in that experiment phase where you know you, you go for one approach, I, I approach the problem from another side, and, and, and you don't really know um, until you, you get it out there. So, I mean, the main, I mean, the, the feedback is, is quite positive now, and yeah, let's go. I think it's an awesome product. Uh, any question? We can move on to the next one. Uh, Sean, Good question. Uh, from an accuracy technology standpoint, how accurate is this? Because all these things are in different conditions, lighting and angles and stuff like that. How does it accurately find that product? Mm -hmm. yes. Well, if you rely, if you completely rely, okay, there are different uh, levels of accuracy because sometimes the product is not even uh, on the market. It's already uh, you know, out of fashion or out of stock, or uh, or sometimes the product was made uh, for that. Sort of Game of Thrones. 
So, like, the, that's one level of accuracy. So, you want to have a, a, a close match. You want to have, of course, the, the exact product, but, like, if it's not the exact product, you want to have something that, that is close to you. Know, that. Uh, the other uh, problem of accuracy uh, is, like, when you start automating things. So, if you, if you want to uh, rely on image recognition purely, you will not be able, you, you will have a lot of problems and you can create more problems because if there's a deal between you and Apple and I tag this on Samsung, it's going to be a big problem. So, so you want to be careful with, with that. So what, what we, we do is uh, something that is that starts purely manual and that gets incrementally automated, but there's always human. Uh, um, I mean, we have to have some people checking, right. checking that. And that's what I was saying. Yeah. In, in Tunisia, we can have, you know, like the guys who are uh, doing the tags are uh, the guy who's doing the tag tags now is uh, a UX guy. So he's doing the the ugly job. But like he's the guy who gives uh, you know, good feedback and uh, helps us do that thing in, in a more um, in a less painful way. Let's say. So like for mm -hmm. 20 minutes, uh, 20 minutes of the show in 60 minutes, you can you can have some uh, pretty decent. But so it's only applicable for products that are on sale nowadays. Now, if you do a movie that's taking place in the 18th century with costumes, you cannot do that. Well, you know, you can monetize differently, but we we uh, we try to maximize the commercial. I mean, the commercial opportunity. But like, if it's not. Uh, uh, it's not sold, you can always add information about something. So, uh, the place, yeah, I mean, like, the like visit Italy next week. <laughs> no, but that, that also can be a, a commercial opportunity For because you're selling uh, um, tourism. Tourism. tourism to, to like when they did Tunisia. Star Wars in yeah. Tunisia, a lot of people went to Tunisia. And a lot of people who have never heard about Tunisia came to, to Tunisia to visit uh, Star Wars uh, making of the movie. Yeah. yeah. I'm just wondering about if you are going to create a new channel like Netflix or YouTube, or you are going to integrate this feature in the annexes. We don't want to deal with streaming, we don't want to deal with copyright, licensing and, and all these things. Once you uh, you want to have of course it's better to have agreements with producers, but like uh, once you start uh, streaming stuff, you, you're getting into uh, the copywriting thing. problem, yeah. So that's why we, we wanted to be like at, at this stage. We wanted to be uh, we wanted to work with any media that you are already uh, using. Because you can think about like custom uh, custom, and there are many um, video players where you can, where you can have uh, metadata and interactive stuff. But you don't do that with. Uh, can you repeat the name of the app? Booby. And I can. How do you say it? Booby. B O. Booby. 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 Yeah, and I can tell you why it's Booby because um, it had a different name. First, we had the first name was Disrupt CK, and it was like uh, the name of the project, and then I had to incorporate it, and uh, we're stuck with that name. And then. Uh, we took another name, and it was with a lawyer who uh, wanted to get out of the company. But like, anyway, at one point he kept the name, and uh, there was a big disagreement between us. Well, don't see because all this. It connects to the book too, right? Uh, yeah. So no, like, that's the, that, <laughs> that wasn't intentional. So my other lawyer tells me, 
you go back to emails and you say uh, June 1st you said this and you try to, to track these conversations um, and, and I tell him that's a booby. Booby in Tunisian means uh, it's sort of like a, a hassle or and then I said booby yeah. and I called like uh, some girls because you, you, we're targeting women so uh, Swedish American French, and I said, Poopy, what do you think about that? Yeah, it's funny. I said, oh, it's going to be Poopy. Uh, we have a new name. So. I, we had another idea, which is Mother Tiger, but... Uh, um, Mother Tiger. Mother Tiger. Yeah. <laughs> Mother Tiger. <laughs> but it was... Uh, you should do some customer research about the name. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But like, you can, you know, it can be edgy. Yeah. And uh, see, Europeans are thinking differently, you know, uh, than American uh, audience. You know, so yeah, so they're more open. You know, it's about a lot of things, and you should just do some customer research before you launch. The, the, the main difference is that that name's going to cost you a lot, because it's like names that are doesn't reference exactly to something like Amazon. Or, well, Amazon is like a or Google. Yeah. They imply a lot of investment so people get to know and understand what is. Oh yeah, I mean that's this. That, 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 you know, you can you can choose a, a name that that reflects what 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 you do. Know, it is another way to do it. Movie commerce. <laughs> yeah, but like you know, that can buy or something. Like we were against. <laughs> we were against like uh, um, branding it as a super <laughs> commercial. Like we don't want to use uh, covers buy, mm -hmm. it's more a discovery tool, like, and we give you the product if you want to buy it, buy it. Right. because as you say, uh, we, you're dealing with art and entertainment, so if you start pitching the producer about, like, uh, you know, your, your movie is going to be Walmart, he, he's, he's not going to be happy with it. Uh, with the product. <laughs> with that, so yeah. And a lot of things were uh, tried in the space and you know with pop-ups and things that show and it's going to ruin the movie <laughs> exactly so what would you want to do that's why we're obsessed about the, the experience is how do i can snag that product with the minimum uh, uh, the, uh yeah and and you developed it in tunisia or when you came here no in tunisia we came last year for uh, an acceleration program uh, and I'm um, back here to meet some of the investors that I uh, Some of the investors. Yes, was the right right one. Sorry. Ah, Hit Me is for uh, startups that are in the Middle uh, East. Uh, What's it called, sorry? Hit Me. Hit Me. Hit Me. B I T M E. And this in. Uh, they, uh, they are based. Here in, um, I mean, the first batch, I came in, in the first batch, we were in, what's the name of the hotel? Uh, just in front of Club Quarters? Yeah, it's just here. Club, yes. club Quarters. Uh, uh, club Quarters. It, it's across the street. Okay, yeah. And we had that open space. Uh, uh, and you said they specialize in certain startups? For uh, yeah, they, they focus on the startups that have potential for, uh, you know, that, that were built in the, or developed in the Middle East, but have the uh, potential to, to be successful globally or in the United States. Awesome. Yeah. So like, uh, or like for company that are, uh, companies that are on other markets and they right. want to you should uh, you should talk to some specific like Comcast Ventures. Comcast yeah. is the largest cable company entertainment giant, uh, and they have a venture arm. It's called Comcast Ventures, and they would definitely invest in this. You should so you should pinpoint those. Yeah, the uh, like um, even talent agencies are now uh, yeah. creating their uh, venture arms. Right. Um, yeah, well, like, as, as most of us, you know, uh, I think, know is you have to fix your stuff. I mean, you have to show what you're doing, but you cannot have the real discussion 
Right. Uh, before like fixing all your incorporation, you go your IP transfer uh, and, and try to get uh, some physical presence. Uh, yeah. Presence. Because like here you meet people and it's cool and, it's, and they ask you where are you and you say she is okay. You, uh, you deal with your stuff and then uh, let's talk. Right, that, that's common, that's a challenge. Well, uh, there, are more, no, there are investors who are more yeah. courageous and uh, yeah. they understand these things. If you, if, if you are able to go through a local incubation program, then they provide you all the resources to cut through these um, hurdles and barriers that potentially any foreign startups are going to come through. Yeah. So it's good to go through something like Pitney or 500 startups or YCs yeah. and I, I think I think you've got a solid future, really, for this firm. Uh, I would advise um, the name. The name of yeah, my research, yeah. I, it's, it's, I is, is it the book part that, that you know? It, 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 it would have connotations, you know, and you would come across it in between through investors. So like, and it's a, you know, it's a small thing that needs to be changed. Oh, yeah. But you should do some customer research so you have it ready, some like solid data. This was done like a thousand. Google consumer surveys, you can do like a quick survey in like, you know, yeah. five days, ten days, or you can do the survey monkey, or there are many platforms where you can conduct like quick yeah. surveys on, on, on the names, brand names and all. Uh, it will give you some insight, you know, how what percentage of the people, uh, you know, yeah. choose or not. You know, you're absolutely right, and as you say, you know, you know uh, culturally it can be very, yeah. uh, you know, yeah. someone can laugh at the, uh, at the yeah, yeah. Yeah, the other guy can't get offended. Yeah, so you don't want that. You, you want neutral. I mean, you want something nice, catchy, but you know, not uh, you know, the, you know. The but like it wasn't. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, no. That's very good feedback, and I, um, um, it's it's the right timing before we we incorporate here. So yeah, like we do it once for, for exactly the timing is right. Yeah. Well, guys. Uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank you.